So if I pull on my standing end, it's going to clamp down. If I pull on my free end, it's going to rotate. With everything we've learned, we can use our toggle to pull in our tension. And when you're done, simply pull it the opposite way. Why can't you just do left over right and expect your knot to hold together? Well, in all the knots I've tied, I've seen three fundamentals that all good knots have. And that is they pull together, they hold together, and they have the right direction. So let's talk about that first fundamental, that is they pull together. I'll do left over right, right over left. Now this is a square knot, and let's just pay attention to this red side. As I pull in my tension, you can see that both these interlocking loops come together. If the top was undone, it would just slip apart. But since we have the rope supporting itself, we're able to pull this together and it'll cinch down on itself. Now let me try to give you a better explanation. Let's do a granny knot which is left over right, left over right, okay? Now here, we have a setup that in theory might work. As we pull this together, you'd think that it would come together, but it's not going to watch. It's just gonna slip, 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 slip. The other side, same thing. Even if you tie to, try to tie it tight. Okay, there you go, that's pretty tight. But when I pull on this, look, it rolls on itself. And if you look close, the standing ends are actually pulling the knot apart instead of pulling the knot together because we're contacting the outside of these loops here and that causes the knot to spill apart. Now let's talk about our second fundamental, that it holds together. I'm gonna to use this blue side as the turn in my bowline. The red side is gonna go up out of the hole, around the tree and back down, okay? Now this is also a sheep end, but it holds very securely. Now here it's easy to see the first fundamental too, and that's that it pulls together. As I take this loop and I pull in tension, you can see that it pulls down on the back of the knot. And as we do that, we have this loop here that's constricting these two strands, helping it hold together. Now check this out. If I were to twist in a loop as if I were going to tie a bowline, out of the hole, around the tree, and back down. This works really well because the blue loop is holding the two red strands together. But if I were to take out one of those strands and just hold it with my hand, it would still have a pretty good holding power. The knot fundamentals are still there. I'm just replacing one through a mechanical means. Now here's what I wanted to show you about the right direction. If I tie that granny knot again, left over right, left over right, this thing does not hold unless I'm pulling it 90 degrees away from itself. So here's my granny knot. The red rope is in the vise. And now, instead of it slipping on itself, I can pull each side with some good tension. And now it's actually going to lock down. Watch this. Lock on the left. Lock on the right. So here's our loop as if we were going to do a bowline out of the hole around the tree, and then back down. Let's clamp this down as best we can, and then pull. You can see the right direction it makes a huge difference. See what I'm talking about? All right, so here's our granny knot again, and then I can pull in the tension so that it locks down on itself. Now I want to interfere with one of those fundamentals, which is that it pulls together. So I'm gonna take my Marlin spike, I'm going to poke through on the standing end. We'll push this side. There's a standing end of my cord. And I'll simply slide in my Marlin spike, okay? Now watch what happens. Here's my tension side. I'm gonna pull on this. Watch how it rolls my Marlin spike. And when I pull on the standing end, it's gonna lock down and it's not gonna move. So what I'm doing is interfering with one of those fundamentals with my Marlin spike and that is I'm not allowing the knot to pull itself together on one side. Now before we put to use what we've learned here, I want to show you this. This is a paralink. Now a paralink is a mechanical means for the knot fundamentals, right? I can take two strands and I can just do one over the other and pull it tight 
and you can see that now it is not going to come apart because we have something to both hold it together and pull it together. Now, Paralink does all kinds of other things. Go ahead and check it out at my website if you'd like to support my channel, ospersale.com. Here we have the ridge line for our tarp shelter, and we're gonna tie in a figure eight loop. We'll pull in a bite, we'll go around the back, over the front, and back through that initial loop we created. There we go. And so there's our ridge line. We have our loop going down to our stake, and then back up again. I'll put a twist in my loop so I create a figure eight. And now I'm going to poke through that bottom loop, come out from behind on the top, and then back through the bottom. There we go. And you can see we have these two interlocking teardrop shapes. This part here is my standing in. That's what's gonna pull my knot together and create the tension I wanna hold. But I wanna be able to play interference with that. So I'm going to introduce this piece of aluminum tubing. And I have these laser cut acrylic hexagons there so you can see how everything spins as I pull. So if I pull on my standing end, it's going to clamp down. If I pull on my free end, it's gonna rotate. And so here's the whole system. I'm gonna pull on my free end to tighten everything down. And it stays into place. And when I'm done and wanna release the tension, I simply pull my toggle the opposite way. Of course, this also works just fine with the twig. Tightens up well, and when you're done, simply pull it the opposite way.